What's up everybody? Welcome back to Real Fresh Fishing. Today we're actually not fishing. It's blowing about 30 so what we're gonna do is help a friend out. Um, we're gonna put these through holes. He's got two of these three quarter inch through holes because he wants to reroute his live ball. Pumps. Everything right now as you can see comes off of one stem. His live well pumps, his wash down, everything comes off of one stem. So what we're going to do to improve the flow is we're going to put independent through holes for his live well pumps and then have his wash down just running off this same exact through hole that we have here. So show you guys how to drill holes in boats successfully. So step number one. Make sure you clear everything out. Give yourself a nice, easy workspace. Now we're gonna take the greaser, clean all this up, and prep it basically so we can drill our hole or measure out first and drill our holes. Um, our big thing here, that's the full pump setup right there. Our main thing is to be able to get these things to catch enough water and to be low enough low enough into the boat basically far enough away from each other to where these two pumps aren't colliding on either side you know a, a big thing with this is make sure it's behind your transducer if this fitting is in front of the transducer it's going to throw water and disturb your transducer in that allow you to read bottom while you're running which is a big no-no so we got to keep it behind the transducer and just far enough away from each other to where these pumps on either side aren't touching i don't know if you can see our points there put them there with sharpie came down six and a half on both sides and what we're going to start with we're going to start with a small pilot hole right something less than what that hole saw is going to require. So probably eighth inch bit. And I'm going to go through both here. So on the, on the underside, because I'm going to drill from here. So on the underside, we can go down there and tape it off to make sure we don't mess up any of this gel coat that's on the bottom. Keep it from chipping. All right. All right. Hole number one. <sighs> Daddy's covering up the hole there. She where the pilot hole here on the other side. And like I said, he's buttoning that up so when we drill in from the hole on the inside there, we don't mess up any of that gel coat. No chips. And that's the old clamshell. She's seen better days. The joys of fishing in Key West, Florida. And when you go to drill this, you want to make sure you have the same angle as the hole. You don't want to go flat, straight up and down, because then once you go to put that through hole fitting, it won't sit right. What you want to do is make sure you have that same angle of the hole to go through. Hole number one. beauty always wear a mask you can see we're rinsing 
the whole area. To get that surface area nice and clean. And we just we decided to uh, replace the original there for the pickup for the uh, wash down where we had the three way there. We figured might as well put everything brand new. All right. So now that everything's pretty much dry in here, we're gonna take this piece of sandpaper. Use about 60 grit and just scuff it up. And everywhere where that flange is gonna rest, scuff it up. Then we'll come back and acetone it. And that's gonna be on the inside and outside of the hole. And I'll show you what we'll do on the outside. All right, so there's our hole. And ideally, if you want it to look absolutely perfect, put the through hole in and what we do is you'll trace it around the outside here drop it and then take that trace piece and you cut all the interior out where that entire flange is going to sit there you scuff that up as well so here on the actual through hole and the nut to lock it in but also take a piece of 60 and go around the lip here where that's going to seal down to the hole and around the lip here all that does is help that 5200 adhere you know it gets in the cracks and crevices and really grips grips tight to you know your fittings and to the hole so everything will be basically all cemented together so you know you got multiple points of contact between the 5200 and all your fittings in the hull. So what I like to do is I like to start here in the center. And I'm not very steady at it. Get us a nice little base in the groove there. It's all in there good. I actually like to come up a couple threads. Stick as well. This hole is actually pretty thick, so we're gonna come up a few threads here. I'm going to put a good amount on the inside here, Desi. What's that? I'm probably going to put a good amount on the inside. You're going to put a good amount? In here, yeah. Just so it, it always, you know, nothing happens to it. Fills all those chips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Those little voids.
Did it goop out on you down there? A little bit. Perfect. Go ahead. So right here we have a clam shell. And I know they sell it all in one. But we put them in two separate pieces for one reason. We catch bait in a shallow waters we need to catch bait in. Sometimes these things get crushed by the bottom, by rock, whatever. So it's easy to change out rather than buying the entire through hole with the clamshell on top of it. So in order for that high speed to work, we're gonna have this side towards the bow of the boat so when you're running, it scoops the water in, shoots it up through the through hole, keeps our bait alive. Mark it out here with a sharpie so we can pre drill it. See how we got all this 5200 all the way around here? If we had it taped off accordingly, when you go to put your uh, through hole in there and you tighten it down, you could honestly just peel that tape off and leave it to where there's no 5200 on the outside. But it's a work boat. Expensive work boat, but a work boat. Guys, a little piece of advice. If you don't have 5200 on your hands, yeah. you didn't use enough underwater stuff is done. You can see where that water, as you're running, will go. Right here in those grates. Get pushed up. By the back side of that shell. Right to the pumps. Keep all the baits super happy. <laughs> <laughs> 